What's up, comic fam? Comic fans, it's time to preview the comic books coming out November 6th. All right, so we got some spec books, we got some FOC books, we got some uh, spotlight books, and we got the rest of the books coming out this week, and we're going to get into it right after this. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, let's get into it. We start off with the spec books here, and that's what we're going to do. First off, coming off the the popularity of Absolute Batman and then Absolute Wonder Woman, we have Absolute Superman. All right, this will probably be a $10 book right off the gate. Um, <clears throat> we'll probably have a bigger print run than Wonder Woman, probably less of a print run than Batman. Um, or who knows, maybe the, the same. Um, but yeah, I could see this one uh, being a uh, a doubler, if you will, worth more than double the cover price. All right, moving on. We got FML number one. This just looked like a fun book. Uh, it's like an apocalyptic story or um, journey. I think one uh, website referred to it as an odyssey. Um, but yeah, here you have some uh, teenagers who, you know, have these dreams. They discover that, uh, oh, right here, it says they wake up one day to discover that the creature, witchcraft, and metal world he's obsessed with may be a bit closer to home than he preferred. So Riley is this guy they're talking about who's into all of that. Um, just look like a fun kind of movie, uh, not movie, sorry, fun kind of comic that could be turned into a TV show or a movie. It's got that kind of vibe. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, apparently this happens during a worldwide pandemic. So, huh. I don't know. I don't know. And then last but not least on that list of books is Kohori, Reshaper of the World. Uh, you may remember her from the Disney What If show, right? Gets her power from the Tesseract. Well, this is her first comic appearance. A couple different covers, including the Maria Wolf cover and the animation variant. Okay. Um, yeah, just a new character seems to have some some weight behind her if you will all right let's get into the spotlight books we got insurgency rising if you are looking for a star wars book with a first appearance there you go first this is a first cover appearance here are the characters in there that's Rinzanat. um but yeah we got lots of the original Star Wars people and a first cover appearance on this one. I believe this is cover B. Okay. Uh, Something's Killing the Children, number zero, is out. Uh, yeah, 40 issues later, a new chapter from the past is revealed. This is going to be kind of a prequel type of story, right? Happening before what's going on. But I thought a lot of what was happening in Something's Killing the Children was kind of in that same vein, right? Um at times they all they went back to the past so here we go this is like an origin story and then last but not oh no this isn't last this is ne next and last this is the penultimate issue for today this is the walking dead deluxe number 100 if you're a negan fan there you go and it's in color you get to see negan at his worst in color and now last but not least we have falling in love on the path to hell number five this is the second printing one in ten variant featuring the cover art of Frank Miller. All right, there you go. That guy got his head sliced off. All right, we're gonna go into the FOC books. You gotta have these in by November 11th, okay? First off, we have a Poison Ivy cover by Jenny Frizen. And not only is this a great cover, but I've heard great things about Poison Ivy. So you get a twofer here. You get a book with a good story and a great cover. There you go. 
next up on that FOC list. If you're a Miss Minutes fan, here you go. Another Umberto Ramos cover art. Miss Minutes and her cohorts right there. I uh, don't think this is the first appearance of the other Minutes, if you will. But I know Miss Minute uh, has had, you know, Umberto Ramos brought her to life with his own cover uh, a couple years ago, actually. Uh, next up, and last for FOC, we have Absolute Superman number two. It says, you know, it says all this stuff about the peacemakers and sending them to stop this this Superman, this Absolute Superman. But uh, then it says we weren't expecting one motor mouth Iron World woman to be the one finally get cuffs onto him. So I'm believing this is the first appearance of Absolute Lois Lane. All right, and look at all those peacemakers. Damn. All right, let's get into the rest of the books coming out this week we're gonna start off with image comics and what do we have from image you got that falling in love on the path to hell number five second printing and then there's the one in ten that i just showed you uh, with the art of frank miller gunslinger spawn is out i've been really digging gunslinger spawn you got king spawn i have not been reading king spawn what else do you have uh marika and Dolfo. Sweet Paprika Open Business, or Open for Business. Uh, a lot of Sweet Paprika fans out there, so there you go. Uh, the Power Fantasy has a fourth printing of issue number one, if you missed out on the earlier printings. All right, and there's a third printing of issue number two. Uh, Scarlet comes out in trade paperback. For your G.I. Joe fans, Scorch is on issue number 35. The Walking Dead Deluxe is on issue number 100. Lots of covers featuring Negan. They really printed a ton of them. All right, we're off to Boom. Here comes the Boom, ready or not. What do we have here? Yeah, Fade number one is a Stephanie Hahn cover on cover B, so that's pretty cool. Ranger Academy number 12, so that's coming to an end. Something is Killing the Children Zero. There is a Frizen variant for that one. And a couple of other variants. All right, we're off to Titan. 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 Titan Comics. All right, you got Carl Luna in the Barbarian Battle uh, for Blackstone, or of, of Blackstone, uh, number three. That's the penultimate issue. You got one more to go on that. RuneScape Untold Tales. God Wars number one. That's out with a cool Alan Qua cover. And that's pretty much it. You got an omnibus, it looks like, from the Savage Sword of Conan. All right, we're off to DC Comics. And plenty of Absolute Superman number one covers. All right. Uh, yeah, just pick the one that you like the best as a Clinton Crane variant there's a Jim Lee foil variant there's the design variant there's a black black there's a blank cover variant lots of different covers um, all right then we got action comics and you got Superman on Krypton how did that happen I don't know read the book find out or tune into my show where I talk about it um, let's see, Batgirl number one is out. This is a first appearance of some group or something in that one. But if you're a Batgirl fan, check that out. Batman number 155 is out this week. Let's see, Birds of Prey number 15 is out. I've heard good things about Birds of Prey, but I believe they recently, did they, they may have recently changed their uh, creative team but i don't know i have not been reading it i've only heard good things about it dc horror presents has a creature commandos cover a lot of people seem to love the creature commandos so go ahead and jump on that what else little batman huh month one that's fun but that ooh, that cover that cover A, I, if you know what it refers to. But that's a good way to, to redo it. Um, 
What else? Plastic Man No More. That seems kind of uh, gruesome for Plastic Man. But we got that Jenny Frizen Poison Ivy cover. Yeah, that's that's a cool one. That's real. That's real pretty. What else do we have? Hmm. I don't know. We're gonna go to Marvel. See what they have. Uh, Alien vs. Avengers is on issue number two. And yeah, I guess Avengers number 20 is out. Blood Hunters is on issue number four or five. We have Kahori, Reshaper of Worlds. A couple covers for that. There's Kid Venom. There's a first appearance of a villain in there. You got the Philatan homage. And that's pretty cool. You got the facsimile of Secret Wars number 11. Negasonic Teenage Warhead gets a book. Issue number one. What else? What else do we got? Spider-Man Black Suit and Blood is on the final issue. If you've been reading that. Spider Society is on the final issue. If you've been reading that. Ahsoka is on issue number five. Pretty much taken out of the, the TV show. There's Star Wars Battle of uh, Jakku Insurgency Rising. Right, we talked about the Qua variant and first cover appearance. Plus Ultimates number six. All right, some first appearances in the Ultimates number six. Not so much first appearances as the introduction of the immortal weapons. So that's there there should be a wraparound cover for that yep here it is so there's a wraparound cover showing the immortal weapons and the ultimates and supposedly something bad happens in this comic for our heroes all right well we just skipped ahead a whole bunch not a whole bunch just a little bit um you got venom war number four but there's the uh the venom horses in this one right so black gooey venom horse black gooey so if you're a venom horse fan go ahead and grab your venom war cover uh x factor number four i actually just recently read the first issue of that and boy it was a little bit of a shocker i was like oh man i was like this this book is going to be all jokey and then it was jokey but it was also like oh damn look what happened to them uh, X-Force number 5 is out, X-Men number 7, apparently there's some drama in X-Men number 7, and we're off to Dynamite, and it looks like we have a DuckTales, issue number 1 out of Dynamite, alright, I can see people running to get that, who didn't watch DuckTales back in the day, you got Gargoyles on issue number 4, Hercules is on issue number six. Red Sonia is on issue number three. Red Sonia, Death and the Devil. All right, let's get into the rest of the books coming out this week. Let's go. What do we got? The Anansi Boy is out of Dark Horse. That's on issue number five. What else? And guys, if I miss anything, let me know. Be like, hey, this is good. Carlisle, School for Kings. I've read some stuff about that on Dark Horse. That could be a good book. That's on number one. So you can check that out. Now, so if you're a Crow fan, is the Crow Dead Time. That's on issue number two. What else? What else? What else do we got? Guys, it could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. I stole that from Jay-Z. All right, let's keep going. So a bunch of Ken, Ken Hazer. Um, there you see Absolute Power uh, covers out there. Dynamic Forces releases these, these covers. Uh, 
uh, what else do we have? What else? What else? All these specialty comics. A lot of them from Dynamic Forces. But where's where's the good stuff? Not that those aren't good, but where's where's the stuff that everybody wants? Oh, uh, Uni Press with the EC Cruel Universe number four, right? So Uni Press doing EC books now. FML, we talked about that out of Dark Horse. It just looks like a fun book. Hmm. And what else? What else? What else looks like fun? Okay. Kill Town, number one. That's out of Keen Spot Entertainment. It's a three parter, three issues. So. Yeah, interesting covers. That might be just enough to get somebody to come into that. Read it. Living Hell, number one, out of Dark Horse. Another book that I, I've seen mentioned. So that could be a good one to pick up for you, uh, Pony, My Little Pony fans. There's a uh, number one out this week with a $7.99 price tag. Chew, $7.99. I mean, I get it. A lot of books do it these days. A lot of comics do it these days. All right, one for Sorrow, number one. That's out of Distillery. Just remember, Distillery is oversized magazine form. Uh, yeah. I've heard good things, though. I've heard the stories are good. I've heard the art is particularly good. Just the format sometimes makes it hard to access. All right, let's keep, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Uh, you got Rome Eternal out of Magma. That's a, that's a number one, right? We're going to try to point out the number ones that we see here. I think we're almost to the end, guys. And, you know, like I said, you could have been anywhere. But you're here with me. You stuck it out to the end if you're watching this. And that's awesome. I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Boom. And that's it, guys. We're at the end. So comic fam, comic fans, do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get ready for this week's books. If you like the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up. Comment down below. All right. Um, yeah. Thank you for being here. Peace. Deuces. What's up, comic fam, comic fans, and it's time to preview the comics coming out. <sighs> What's up, comic fam, comic fan? <laughs>